Hey Gemini, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. This is going to be your love reading for the first half of September 2018. This is for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. So some of the messages may or may not resonate. If they don't, then that's okay. Maybe the message might not be for you for this first half. But what does resonate, just take with you and uh, see how that works for you, okay? So this is your love reading. And if you would like to get a personal reading from me, just click on one of the links in the description box below. Okay, so we're gonna start with your overall energy. What could be going on? So this can be for singles or for those in partnerships. So your overall energy for the first two weeks, you're starting with the Five of Pentacles. So there is an energy here of someone feeling left out in the cold, but I don't, um, I don't feel 100% that there's, it's left out in the cold by yourself. Uh, you may feel uh, left out in the cold by a particular person and someone else comes to comfort you during this time, or you and that other person are on the outskirts, you're having trouble, uh, there could be financial issues, y you and the other person could be um, trying to you're sticking together through tough times. If it's financial issues or, um, you know, an, uh, something to do with, you know, of course in your relationship, there could be some people are going and asking for help or conjuring up some ideas of how to, uh, for both of you to, to overcome a certain situation or it's another person who's coming to your aid at this time to help you with a difficult situation. Okay. So now you also have the Page of Pentacles. So this is good. This is some type of communication. Um, I do feel money is definitely pre prevalent at this time for the first two weeks. You could get some you could get a message about receiving some money or you could be getting um, or searching for it, or trying to come up with some type of idea or way to figure something out. You could have someone coming to help you as well. There's something that's very valuable to you, Gemini, that you truly want to hold on to and you may have some people or someone coming to help you to, uh, to help you figure out how you can do that. Okay, so this, this does have to do with a partnership or a family situation that's going on. There's a feeling of community, some, someone or, or people standing behind you, I feel, are helping you get through something. Yeah, and the Nine of Cups. It's very joyousness. This is contentment, peace. This is like having a wish come true. So there could be some people around you. Uh, there's a celebration of some sort happening. And I know here in the US, we're coming up on um, the Labor Day fest festivities. And I don't know if you're not in the US and if you have um, some type of events going on, this could relate to you as well. I feel that somebody wants to connect with you though. And it's similar to uh, one of the last readings I gave, there was a similarity with that about meeting someone or some people at some type of events. Um, so I am definitely feeling there's a celebration that's coming. You may get an offer or an invite to go to some type of a celebration. Um, Maybe somebody, maybe you've been a, a little bit of a recluse, which is not really the Gemini way, but you may have been feeling a little lonely or lost or um, just kind of not sure what to do about certain things in your life. So I, I'm seeing much uh, social invitation coming here for you, uh, either by family and friends or by someone in particular you have the fool and this, I really feel like someone's going to be taking a risk to reach out to you to try to have this happen. Um, whoever this person is, I feel like they need to throw their cares to the wind and reach out to you. 
Um, this can also be a travel or a trip. So it could be someone coming from afar who uh, you could be meeting up with or this person wants to connect with you to either reconnect with you or connect with you at some type of an event. There, there's an offer and some messages that get made in this connection here. Um, this person is actually not too sure about doing this. I feel like they're hesitant uh, about reaching out to you. So let me just pull some clarifying cards. I'm gonna pull one on the Eight of Swords to see what the hesitancy is. Yeah, they're contemplating, uh, they're definitely contemplating about reaching out to you and inviting you somewhere. Mm. They're kind of like strategizing this because they don't want to be rejected. So this person definitely has their guard up or their, their boundaries. You know, they, they're feeling like um, they're also feeling for some of you that you may have been keeping yourself distant from either them or other people and I feel they're also sensing that you are having some difficulty uh, because you may have felt rejected from something and I feel like this is why they're going to take a chance and try to bring you out into the open and maybe you were in a you were just feeling bad about something that was happening and I feel like someone wants to help, whether this is a friend or this is a, someone that you're involved with or someone that you're in love with. Okay, so I feel like this person, they want to tell you to just go ahead and take a risk. Don't worry about if you feel indecisive, don't worry about if you don't know what to do or if you're not sure about reconnecting with people or if you're not sure about returning to a situation. I feel like they, they want you to actually just pack your stuff and just go, just do it. This person also is, you know, they're also a bit indecisive about taking a risk about you but they're just gonna do it they're not going to let anything that's kept them down or indecision or worry keep them down from doing this now the nine of cups yeah this you know i feel like they want you to balance things out there you know they there's peace and harmony and patience and connection to this, you know, this is peace and, con you know, contentment and, and this is peace and harmony. Some of you could be dealing with Sagittarius. Um, some of you could ha also have an Aries or Aquarius that you're involved with as well. But I feel like take the high road is what they want you to, s what they want to say to you. Take the high road. This person is definitely in this place now where they're taking the high road on this particular situation. They're they're no longer um, going, they're taking risks. They're no longer going to let rejection or fear keep them from reaching out to you because they feel that they want to help you or be there with you. And so you will get truthful messages about this from them. Something about family, there could be family or um, uh, this someone that you could have been separated from in a commitment or a marriage, this person wants to resume that. They, they're, and they're going to be, I feel like they may be truthful and honest with you about that. They probably have been watching you to see what you've been up to or what you've been doing. And they know that you've pulled back your energy a bit. And I feel like maybe because you've done that, this whoever they or this person is, is causing them to want to take a risk and reach back out to you again. Okay. So you could also be dealing with, this may have something to do with your father uh, or a boss. Some of you might be involved with a boss or an Aries or someone who is in an authority place that they are able to uh, reach out to you and help you in some way. Okay, you see? 
there's reciprocity here. So there is going to be a message or an offer. Someone's going to offer some financial help. Someone's going to reach out to you um, uh, with a very, uh, what's the word? A message that's um, solid, you know, like a real solid message. There's nothing goopy or mushy about it. Um, and there's definitely an energy here of someone wants to give and try to, it could be try to fix a relationship or try to give it another shot, okay? And I know like for those of you who are single and you don't have anyone in your life, there definitely is going to be someone who's reaching out to you. It, I feel like it could be a friend who um, wants to bring you back home or wants you to come home, or wants you to um, take a risk. And some of you, as I was saying, may have been isolating yourselves in a situation this person wants you to come back, okay? Or they're missing you, okay? So I think that's good. That's your reading for now. So again, if you wanna get a personal reading for me, click one of the links description box below, and I will see you guys in a couple weeks. Bye.